Steve here with Fig Mood on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a pen from Sailor, which is something I recently added to my personal collection, and that would be the Sailor Pro Gear in Imperial Black. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, uh, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it, I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Whenever I am traveling and happen to be near a physical pen store, I try to work a visit into my schedule. I recently took a trip to Washington, D.C. to catch a Padres baseball game against the Nationals. I didn't stop at Farney's this trip, though. I've been there several times, however. It's literally two blocks from the White House. Then I followed the Padres up to New York City, where they were playing a series against the Yankees. Um, I didn't have a ton of time in New York for activities. Uh, it is one of my favorite cities to visit. While there, I did get to do something very cool. I have a friend who works for NBC, and he was kind enough to give me a tour of the NBC studios at 30 Rock. Uh, it was very interesting to get a behind-the-scenes look at the facilities and a number of their studios. Uh, here I am sitting behind one of the MSNBC studio desks. Um, actually, across the street from 30 Rock is a really nice bookstore called McNally Jackson that has a decent stationery selection. Uh, and they also have a small number of fountain pens. But as I was heading out of town, I went over to Brooklyn to visit Yoseka Stationery. Uh, it's a great little shop. I was there at 5.30 p.m. on a Saturday, and it was great to see the place packed. Uh, they have a large island in the middle where you can test out lots of items. They have a few fountain pens out there to test. Uh, while there, I felt it would be a good occasion to pick up a new pen. Uh, they have the majority of their pens in a couple of Toyoka Craft 100 pen cases near the back counter. Uh, their pens really aren't out on display. It's kind of like a shoe store where you peruse the drawers and see which pen you want and then the helpful staff will get it out of the back. Uh, there was a clear demonstrator, Sailor King of Pens Pro Gear, I considered, but ultimately I decided on the pen we're going to look at here today, the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. The pen arrives in this box, the sleeve slides off, and then the lid lifts up, and there's a few things in here. Uh, there is some marketing information, there is a use and care guide, there are a couple of proprietary Sailor cartridges. Um, then there is a little note advising you to uh, uh, please only use Sailor ink to avoid damaging the ion-plated nib. Uh, it says that any damage to the nib caused by other branded inks will not be covered under the Sailor standard warranty. Um, I personally haven't had an ink damage a nib, but I'm not saying that that's not an impossible occurrence. Uh, there is a bottle of Sailor Black ink, which is appropriate for this pen. And then speaking of the pen, here it is. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. Uh, this pen hits a lot of the right buttons for me. I am a big fan of the Sailor brand. Um, I love the Pro Gear model in general. And I love the look of a matte black pen. Uh, this pen has that matte black exterior with a smoky ruthenium trim. Um, I like that the trim on this pen isn't a stark black. I think that the contrast looks nicer than if the trim was as black as could be. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, parts and features of this pen. The top of the cap is adorned with the Sailor Anchor logo. Um, I've always liked this logo. I think it looks really simple and classy. This transitions into the clip. Uh, this is a standard Sailor clip found on many of their models like the Pro Gear, the Pro Gear Slim, the 1911s, both small and large. The King of Pen models have the same style of clip, but it's a bit larger to match the larger size of those pens. Uh, the clip isn't overly stiff and accommodates materials of varying sizes very easily. Um, the cap angles up at an even rate of incline until you reach the cap band. It has a straight portion of the ring and then extends and tapers down slightly. Uh, on one side, it's stamped with Sailor, and then it says Japan, and then founded 1911. 
Uh, Sailor is one of the big three Japanese pen companies, uh, Pilot, Sailor, and Platinum. Uh, it's kind of amazing that those three companies were founded within a couple of years of each other, over a hundred years ago. And they are each going strong after all these years. Uh, there's a small step down from the cap band to the barrel, which is straight for a couple of inches before reaching a subtle taper to the end, where there is a metal band and the end of the barrel is flat. The cap twists off with one and a half rotations and underneath we have a 21 karat gold sailor nib. Uh, it is ion plated in black. The black plating was really essential for this pen. Uh, it wouldn't have looked right with a silver colored nib. Um, I have seen the nib available in fine, medium, broad, and zoom. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a very slight flare. It angles up slightly before you reach another metal band, which is actually part of the section housing, and then the resin threads and a small straight portion before a minimal step up to the remainder of the barrel. Um, the section is on the short side, but even though I find my grips to sit over the threads, I don't find them to be sharp or uncomfortable. Um, the Pro Gear is not an overly long pen, but it's plenty long enough for me to use unposted. Uh, the cap does post, and it does post deeply and securely. Uh, the angled cap band is devoid of any sharp edges, so it feels comfortable in the hand, and it doesn't rub up against the, your uh, inside of your palm, which is nice. Um, the cap is fairly light, so I don't find it backweights the pen or throws off the balance. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts proprietary Sailor cartridges and a proprietary converter is provided. The Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black is available from a number of retailers and sells for $472. Uh, this is on the high end of the Pro Gear spectrum. Uh, the price for Pro Gears can really vary from model to model. Uh, they're generally in the mid to high 300 range, so this is one of the pricier Pro Gear models. While I always wish things were less expensive than what they are, um, I didn't find this price to be outrageous, but it was very close to the precipice of what I was willing to pay for it. Um, in a couple of weeks, I've had this pen. It's quickly become one of my favorites. Uh, with most new pens, I kind of use them for a while and then I clean them out and they kind of go into the rotation. Um, I haven't had the heart to do that yet with this pen. I've been having uh, so much fun with it. Uh, it's been coming to work with me on several occasions and I've been, uh, it's been hanging out on my desk for a while as well. Eventually it will go into the rotation, but for now I am enjoy using it on a, uh, a more frequent basis. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. I just wanted to give you another close-up look at that black material. It's just a really nice, classy matte black, and I like the, uh, uh, the ruthenium trim as well. Uh, in regard to a number of other Sailor pens, uh, and also one other one that's not a Sailor pen, uh, this is what it looks like with the Sailor Pro Gear Ken Recce, which was another limited edition Ken, uh, uh, Pro Gear that they came out with. Uh, this is what it looks like with the Pro Gear Slim. Uh, and then here it is with the Pro Gear 2, which is a model I'm not even sure if they make any longer. It wasn't the most popular. It was a slightly larger Pro Gear. Uh, and then also here it is with a Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear. And you can see that that is even larger. In regard to a few other pens, this is a Sailor 1911 Small. And then this is a 1911 large. And then this is a king of pen in royal tangerine. And then something that is not a sailor pen, but was one of my most recent purchases, was uh, I was at the uh, Triangle Pen Show recently. 
Uh, and every year they have an auction and there you know, happened to be something that I really wanted, that I've always wanted to add it to my collection. Uh, and so I did, and I was able to pick this up. And this is an Omos 360. And this was in kind of a translucent turquoise. And it's just a really nice pen. I just like the looks of it. I always like this triangular design. I'm debating whether or not I should ever review this. This is, you know, a, a pen that is discontinued and not re readily available. And so I always debate whether or not uh, those even need to be reviewed because they're uh, basically strictly only eye candy. Maybe let me know in the notes below if you want to see reviews of things like that that are basically things that are very hard to obtain. But that's what it looks like in comparison to the Pro Gear Imperial Black. In regard to uncapped comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with the Pro Gear Slim, and then the King of Pen Pro Gear, and then the 1911 Large. Here we go with the writing sample for the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. This is a medium 21 karat gold nib. And the ink I'm using is the ink that came with it. I don't use black ink that much, but how can you not use a black ink with this pen? Well, you could use any color you want, but I just think using a black ink is appropriate, at least to start off with. And that would be Sailor Black. This is what the ink looks like. Um, it's a nice solid black. Uh, this is what it looks like in regard to the Sailor uh, Gentle Black, the Kiwa Guru, which is one of my favorite blacks. Uh, and then here it is with Namiki Black. Uh, and then here it is with Mont Blanc's Mystery Black, which uh, has a bit more of a, a blue hue to it. This is that bottle. Um, I like this bottle a lot more than some of other Sailor's bottles, the, uh, the low narrow one. Uh, those are really hard to get nibs in, but this one is really nice. And so far I'm liking this black ink. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. You might be able to hear that there is a bit of feedback on these nibs, uh, but it's a good feedback. Uh, for the most part, Sailor pens aren't going to be glossy smooth. They have a distinctive feedback to them, but it's a quality feedback. You can get a bit of line variation out of this 21 karat gold nib. And the ink flow out of this medium nib is decent. In regard to reverse writing, I'd say it's a little on the sharp side, but it gets the job done. In regard to some fast writing. The feed keeps up just fine. So there you have the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. Um, I was really pleased with this pickup. Uh, and that, uh, like I mentioned, if you're ever in the New York area, uh, I would uh, recommend a visit to Yoseka Stationery. It's uh, a really cool store, and I think you'll be glad that you paid it a visit. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.